uh, okay so now we have the footer here that is uh, causing some issues because it has some uh, margin so how do they handle it here so if i go to the built-in project okay so we have the footer there also so i don't think we handled it properly okay all right so for this one what i'm going to do is for now i'm just going to uh remove the what is it the margin from the footer okay so we are going to handle it uh, based on authentication later but for now i think this will solve the problem yeah okay so then we have uh, other two gradients here like one is this one right and the other one is this one so instead of creating new elements what i'm going to use is i'm going to use uh, css pseudo elements to create those two divs so for that let me close the footer so inside here what i can do is i can take uh, pseudo elements i'll take a after first and the content will be empty and the height will be let me let me see the height here so yeah, the height is uh 650 let's say 650 650 pixel and width is also 650 pixel our border radius is uh, 50 percent because it's a round shape okay and then to show it up in the uh in the ui we can just uh, position the parent as relative and we can position the pseudo element as absolute so position should be absolute and let's say for example let's give it a background color of red and uh, it should be visible now all right doesn't look very good but okay it's visible and then what we can do is we can position it so i will say it is in the 50 percent almost down here so for that let's do let's do bottom ah sorry my bad let's do bottom minus uh i think 40 percent should work and for left i'll do minus 50 percent okay let's see how it looks okay it is gone i think <laughs> okay let me see uh let's give it a index z index of 50 maybe all right it's not visible okay let me inspect Auth container and it should have an after okay so instead of percent let's do bottom 40 percent and left like we'll do the minus later so okay let me increase the font size all right so now it is at the uh, bottom 40 percent and left uh, 49 percent so uh let's decrease the left first so if i go here okay i think uh 15 percent and then bottom i'll go down again okay so uh, let me take it to the side all right 72 percent is too much let's increase it okay so let's say 64 and this one is uh, 23 okay let's see 64 23 okay that's too much let's move it a little bit to the top and a little bit less to the left okay 
I think uh, bottom minus 58 and left, uh, let's do the round 20. So left 20, uh, what is the bottom? 58. All right, let's do 55 maybe. All right, let's reload. Okay, so now it is visible. Let's uh, let's hide the overflow for the parent. Overflow hidden. Okay, so now it's here. I think it should be a little bit uh, to the middle here. So I'll do left maybe. 15%. All right. Okay, you know what? Let's instead of uh, calculating it, let's just let's just do 100 VH. Yeah, that's better. And also, let's uh, increase this one. Let's do 35. Uh, no, too much. I'll do 40 maybe. Okay. Okay, so that looks, I think, close. All right. <laughs> okay, now, I mean, you can you can play around with the, in the, in your uh, inspect and you can check which one is working, uh, working best, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Now I will handle the gradient part. So this one has a radial gradient. I think the colors are also different. So let's copy this one, like the first color. And instead of linear, I'll select radial now. So this color is in the center. Okay, I'll do this one. Nope, that's too much. Uh, this one, what is happening? Okay, let's go to properties. I think the opacity is reduced a little bit. All right, let's 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 do white for this one. Where is it? Um, this one? Okay. And let's uh, bring it in a little bit, the white color. And this one. Okay, I think I have to handle the opacity for this one. Okay, that's too much. Maybe somewhere around uh, here. Let's see. A little bit to the left. Okay, that looks fine. And uh, then I'll just copy this one. And paste it here instead of background color red. Okay, let's see. All right. Not bad. Okay, it's not that visible. So I'll just move the left to 10 maybe, minus 10. Uh, too much. 12, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so that, that works. All right, then we have uh, another one. So for that, I will just copy this one. And I will create another pseudo element, but this one will be before. And let's check the height and width. So this one is the same height and width, but it's the opposite. So in here, instead of bottom, I'll do top. And instead of left, I'll do right. All right, let's see. Okay, so it is visible, but we have to uh, change the gradient. So let's do it from here. So I'll copy this one and paste it here. And this one should be white. Okay, where's the white color? 
yeah this one we just we just reversed the gradient that's all now i'm going to copy it and just replace this one okay that should be good all right so we have it here but it isn't visible that much i don't think like you can barely see it so okay let's maybe maybe the color is too dim okay let's go a little bit to the right okay now it isn't visible at all okay let's go back for this one okay so this one is a bit more visible now maybe I did too much okay let's save it okay so this one is visible now for that one let's uh, bring in the center color sorry the white color a little bit in then I'll copy it okay all right okay so now it is more visible uh, maybe too much visible okay uh, okay let's try this Okay, I'm just I'm just playing around with the with the gradient and numbers. I'm not sure which one will work. So, if you have more time in your hand, then you can you can make it at as at as precise as possible to the design. Okay. All right. Okay, so this looks good to me. So I'll stop here.